This recording describes the plant and processes at Auto Compu Stainless, Shepcoat Lane Works in Sheffield. Over the past 50 years, the plant has produced austenitic and ferritic stainless steels. A major investment programme in the 1970s includes most of the plant shown in this presentation. Within the Trade Centre there are three cut-to-length lines, where two of the lines have recently undergone a £1 million upgrade in 2001. Each line has an edge trim facility, rotary or flying die shear, vacuum sheet stackers and sheet packing equipment. This line was originally supplied by Bronx in 1991, but has undergone significant development since. The line can process sheet or coil with a gauge range of 1.2mm to 6mm and incoming coil width of 600mm to 1600mm. The line comprises of 30 tonne decoiler, entry section with 5 roll flattener and scrap shear, edge trim shear with Butex scrap chopper and scrap handling system, retractable recoil unit. 6 high 17 roll precision leveller, ungera cutmatic rotary shear, vacuum stacker and sheet classifier, sheet packing line with auto strapping machine, PLC control and digital DC drives. The ungera cutmatic shear was installed in 2001 and is capable of 60 cuts per minute with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 millimetres and shear that will cut up to 8mm thick stainless steel. Sheets are then transferred to the vacuum stacker by a belt conveyor with an integral scrap deflector table. The line is equipped with a quality classification system where strip is inspected and electronically tagged and then tracked through the line. If there is a defect in the strip surface the shear will cut out the scrap into short lengths and the scrap deflector table lowers and scrap falls into a pan. Sheets are then passed into the vacuum hub vacuum sheet stacker. Large fans pull air out of the vacuum chambers inside the stacker and a perforated belt with suction cups holds the sheet onto the belt. When the sheet is above the relevant pallet the vacuum is released by electrosolenoid valves and the sheet then drops into the box or pallet. When the pallet is full, hydraulic scissor lift tables lower the pack onto roller tables that discharge the pack onto the packing station chain conveyor. Simultaneously, as the pack is discharged, an empty pallet is pushed into the stacker ready for filling. The stacker can operate in multi-stack mode, so as stack 1 is discharged, the stacker then starts to fill stack 2, ensuring the line continues to run, so maximising productivity. The pallets are sent to the packing station by chain conveyor. where they are covered with protective sheeting and edge protectors. Barcode labels are attached which contain all the relevant pack details and a PKM SIMAG automatic banding machine applies steel banding which is tensioned and spot welded so as to secure the pack. Number 7 line is the one of the three CTL lines within the Trade Centre which is illustrated in this film. The line is capable of handling 30 ton coils from 600mm to 1600mm wide and a gauge range of 0.4mm to 3.5mm. It has recently undergone an extensive upgrading and modernisation programme where it has had 
an Angara Qtronic rotary shear. Also, it has an optical dynamic sheet length measure system, DMS, which can measure moving sheets with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 mm per meter of sheet length. Coils are loaded onto the line from a forearm rotating turnstill by a hydraulically powered floor mounted coil car. The decoiler can operate in either under or over unwind and can handle coils of up to 30 tonnes with either an internal diameter of 610 millimetres to 660 millimetres and an outside diameter of up to 2100 millimetres. After the decoiler unit is a five roll flattener to remove coil set while threading and attached are two peeler tables to manipulate strip from the decoiler mandrel to the flattener. At the entry section there is an Ungara cutmatic shear that allows damaged or unsuitable strip to be cut off at the start of each coil while the line is in thread up mode. The strip can be trimmed to the exact width with the Femi edge trimming shear. The rotary knives are adjusted to the final strip width by a ball screw and nut driven by an electric motor and gearbox. Edge scrap is taken away from the edge trim shear through a tunnel and wound onto a scrap baling machine. The scrap baler mandrel is retractable and the scrap balls are pushed out into a skip. The line has two six high precision roller leveler machines to ensure that the sheets are perfectly flat after shearing. Both are equipped with roll bending to eliminate common rolling defects such as long edges or centre buckle. The Bronx machine is a 21 roll leveler with 30 mm diameter work rolls and has a working gauge range of 0.4 mm to 1 mm. The Feeney leveler is a 17 roll machine with 63 mm diameter work rolls and is capable of levelling strip of a gauge range of 1 mm to 5 mm. After shearing, sheets are conveyed into the vacuum hub vacuum stackers, where sheets are stacked onto pallets. The sheets which have been previously electronically tagged are then sorted into prime or second stacks. The stacker can handle sheets from 1 meter to 13 meters in length and a thickness range of 0.4 millimeters to 5 millimeters. Finished sheets stacked on wooden pallets are sent to the packing area where protective plastic sheets and edge protectors are placed over the pallets then strapped in position with automated robots. Number 5 cut to length line was built by Bronx Engineering in 1976 as a combined sheet and edge trim and recoil line. It can handle a gauge range of 0.4mm to 3mm with line speeds of 60mpm in sheet mode and 100mpm in recoil and edge trim mode. At the exit end of the line is a vacuum stacker with discharge tables and sheet packing facility. The decoil unit can handle 25 tonne coil with an inside diameter of 610 to 660 millimetres and widths of 600 to 1600 millimetres. The line has an edge trim shear to remove any rough mill edges or damaged edges and the scrap is threaded to a scrap baling machine that can later be discharged into scrap pans. The recoil unit is situated in the centre of the line, directly after the edge trim shear, and is mounted on a sliding base that enables the unit to be retracted out of the line when operating in sheet CLT mode. The Bronx flying shear cuts the levelled strip into sheet while the strip is still moving through the shear. An encoder measures the strip length and when the strip is in the correct position, a hydraulic servo system 
accelerates the shear die set to match the exact line speed. And clutch and flywheel system operate the shear blades to cut the sheet to the exact length. 